Today I'm here with Thomas Klug. Thomas Klug is lecturer in our master's program leadership. Um, he's a consultant uh, by profession and has a long-term experience in leadership consulting, uh, change consulting and in coaching. Thomas is also born in my hometown, Solingen. Uh, and uh, Thomas, please introduce yourself. Yeah, as uh, Lutz already said, uh, John Klug, uh, I'm uh, uh, working in my own company, Cogitamos, which uh, means thinking together, thinking together uh, in all different areas of uh, consulting areas uh, where we are dealing with change processes, leadership processes and innovation. And think together means uh, that we want to put together the fragmented parts that had been developed over uh, decades in the past and we want to overcome this and put things uh, together to have them as a holistic whole. This is basically what we're doing. Okay, thank you. Um, tell me a little bit about your um, teaching here in our master's program leadership. Well, the, the good thing with the teaching here at Karlsruhe Hochschule is that uh, the students are very interested in the, the issues we're dealing with. They're very open-minded and you can also experiment a little bit. Uh, this is quite different from the, the normal uh, official schools you have or the state schools. Uh, the, uh, the, the students come from, with different uh, backgrounds so they have international background usually and they, they like to, uh, to do things in a more unconventional way and this is also something I'm looking into uh, that we have to do things in a different way than we used to do them uh, years ago and you can really do that here. Uh, from, from content, uh, we're dealing with uh, communication, dialogue and also conflict resol resolution. But uh, basically I'm doing a, a three-part uh, 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 cooperation with the students that we're working on the person uh, in one module, we're working on the group and a smaller team in the second module, and we're working on the entire company or the entire organization as a system in the third module. And we always try to bring all these different areas together uh, and that uh, brings up uh, many questions and there is a lot of interaction so the lecturing is not just uh, some, some lecturing from uh, uh, the front, it's more an, uh, a conversation and an exchange of different experiences. You've been working uh, in the US with Otto Sharma and um, has this uh, work together with him an influence on your teaching philosophy or on your outcomes of the module? Definitely it has. Uh, Otto has uh, developed over many years, about 10 years together with uh, uh, Peter Senge, his Theory U and the Presencing approach. Uh, and this approach uh, it was developed by many, many interviews uh, with people from different areas and he found out that uh, something new that comes into the world has to go through a very deep and reflective process. And that is also part of my uh, consulting approach and teaching approach that we try to look behind the scene or we like to, to go under the water level in an, in an iceberg situation that we're not just only looking at the phenomenon that, that are visible and that are tangible on top of the uh, 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 water level but we also want to go deeper and see what really holds the things together what are the mental models of people that they are uh, thinking and that their, uh, their action is uh, uh, influenced by that and this is something I learned with uh, Otto and I also try to, uh, uh, to involve into my teaching and consulting. Okay, thank you. And you are working now with future leaders. And uh, what do you think are the challenges for future leaders leaving Karlsruhe after having uh, f f finalized their master's program leadership? I usually distinguish between management and leadership and the leaders they have to go even beyond uh, the things uh, just to, to manage things to get things done. They need to, to go for new, uh, for new paths, they need to have different approaches to the problems we're facing in the environment. So uh, what I think is that you have to have a fresh mind and you have to have a clear view into the things and then you have to work together with others. You, cannot assume that you are your own expert and you can solve the things that need to be done. You need to cooperate and so communication and dialogue is essential for future leaders in order to, to have the full uh, view at the problems at hand and also to find solutions 
that uh, in, a, in a collective intelligence are much easier uh, to, to identify than uh, if you work by yourself in an individual way. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Uh, just imagine you would recommend one of our students to one of your customers. What, for what position or what kind of company would you recommend our uh, students? I think uh, the uh, intention of uh, the students here at Karlsruhe uh, is that they are looking into some innovative areas. They don't want to do the normal, the uh, repeating and conventional work, as far as I understood from some many, many dialogues with them. So uh, I think they're uh, in a good shape if they are uh, uh, joining companies that are in innovative fields like technology, but also chemistry and pharmacy in some areas, uh, and maybe some, some online banking if we look into the, the banking sector, and also logistics. Uh, these are areas uh, uh, I can imagine that there are uh, many things uh, on the move and are changing, but uh, at the, as a matter of fact, you can find uh, innovative approaches in almost every sector. It just depends on the, uh, on the uh, companies and much more even on the people they're dealing with, because they make the difference and you, you can find very innovative people in almost every company, but the, also the, the general culture, I think, uh, plays a, an important role, and they should have a look at that. But it doesn't matter so much uh, the, the, the sector, it's more what this particular company is working in and what is their general approach. Okay, let's talk a little bit more in general. Where do you think are uh, the future challenges for leaders? And what are the directions organizations are now moving? Well, the challenges uh, are in the area of uh, interconnectedness, I think. Uh, many things are done by one company or in one sector, and that has an influence uh, on other companies, other sectors, and even to areas uh, outside of the business uh, arena, which is politics and also non-governmental uh, organizations. So the interconnectedness of decisions, of, uh, uh, of outcomes of decisions that in many cases just uh, are to be seen 20, 30, 50, 100 years later, uh, that is a real challenge because that is a new quality since uh, a few decades now in, uh, in leadership. So uh, to also learn uh, instruments of multi-stakeholder uh, dialogue or cooperation in different arenas where you don't know the other players, where you don't have a real experience with that uh, uh, business culture in the other areas. That is something we have to face and we also have to prepare the long, young leaders in universities and also in practice, of course. One of our topics here is also strategic leadership. Uh, do you think it's still an issue and uh, do you think that it's a future issue? Well, my understanding of leadership is always, in a way, strategic. Mm -hmm. uh, that is the difference to management. Management uh, usually uh, gets things done and they, they are uh, working uh, on the issues that are at hand and leadership is looking for new directions, is trying to, to create a space where people can bring in their creativity and also their passion and so. That is something leadership has to take care for and uh, also they have to, uh, to uh, give direction to an organization that people are knowing in which direction we are heading and then they have some space to find solutions for uh, different uh, ways to get to this direction and to find uh, a competitive edge in that uh, uh, competitive situation of companies. Okay, thank you Tom for being here and for having this uh, little interview with us and uh, I'm looking forward to working with you also in future. Thanks very much Lutz for uh, this opportunity.